Tonight, a 10-year-old is recovering as police search for the driver who hit him. This is Nightside. I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Carolina Lee. The boy was riding his bike to school when he was hit. It happened just after 8.30 this morning on 52nd Avenue North near 17th Street. The driver left the boy in the road. The young boy and his father spoke only to 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen just hours after he was hit. And tonight, he shares his story and a message for the driver. 10-year-old Billy Quackenbush would ride his bike the less than half mile to his school most days. But today, he made it less than a football field's length from his home when he was struck by a car right here. Wow, I just got hit by a car. I needed some help. But that help wouldn't come from the driver who hit him. St. Pete police say what they believe was a white Chevy Cruze paused for just a moment, then took off. I just screamed. People started coming out to help me. Uh, my mom started, my mom ran out to help me. He was treated at the hospital, walking away with some loose teeth and bad bruising. You know, the worst, the worst runs through your head immediately. So I was very relieved that he was awake and talking and everything. Billy says it's likely he'll recover physically before he does emotionally. I don't think I'm going to try riding my bike to school for a while. While police continue to search for the driver. This 10 year old wants to remind that person of a lesson we all learned in elementary school. Treat people how you'd want to be treated. Don't drive off and help them. Tell them there was an accident. He didn't mean it, and you're going to try to help them best you can. In St. Petersburg, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. Again, police are still searching for the person driving what they believe to be a white Chevy Cruze. Anyone with information about this crash or the car involved is asked to call St. Pete Police.